Hello, how you doing? This is Bill Santos again. And today is December 30th, 2022, which means it is day 30 of my Vlogmas 2022. Now, Vlogmas uh, means video log, and the last three letters in the word Christmas. Uh, YouTubers around the world um, have created and uploaded a brand new video on their uh, YouTube channels, uh, one for each day of December. Um, almost all of, the, all of them have uh, ended their vlogmas on December 25th. Uh, some of us are continuing until December 31st. So we're almost finished. Um, most, or actually all of the videos are technically supposed to be about Christmas but there was no possible way I could figure out, I mean, maybe I could have, but I, I um, 31 new videos about Christmas, you know, and uh, many of the videos that I created and uploaded um, are about Christmas, but I really wanted to include uh, videos about uh, different aspects of my life and some of my interests. Uh, today's video, um, uh, I can loosely say it's about my uh, professional career. Um, I don't like the, that term because uh, I consider it more of a series of gigs uh, just because I've bounced around uh, to different jobs uh, for many years, decades. Um, and I wanted to share with you uh, a whole bunch of uh, jobs that I've had through, throughout the years. Um, the time frame is uh, from when I was a teenager in the uh, mid-1970s uh, up until uh, April 1st, 2017, uh, which is when I, I technically retired due to disability. Um, my, most of my jobs are uh, in the journalism field or related field uh, fields, uh, but a lot of a lot of them are are not. And I, I thought that I had such uh, diverse um, diverse quality of, of jobs, different types of jobs over the years that I'd like to share them with you. Uh, And I have a list of uh, some of the jobs that I've had. This is not not a complete list, um, and I'd like to uh, let you know what what I've been doing professionally throughout the years. And these are jobs that they actually gave me money <laughs> to to perform these these jobs. Um, and. Uh, I'll just I'll just briefly say that the, these jobs are not not in uh, in order. They 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 bounce around from year year to year, back and forth. And uh, and I'll, t I'll, I'll tell you anyway. I was going to mention it, but uh, this was actually part of a Facebook game uh, where uh, people would list their jobs and include one job that they never had and then challenge their Facebook friends to pick the job that they never had. And I thought that would be uh, something good to to do uh, because of the diversity of my jobs that it would make it more difficult for my friends to, to pick. But I will say my friend Dave uh, was the winner. He, he did he did pick the, the right answer. Um, anyway, we'll start with uh, a photographer. Um, yes, I was a photographer, but it was related to being a, a reporter, editor, um, writer, page designer, that kind of thing for newspapers. Um, I was also a golf instructor and a camp counselor. Um, at a, a golf school in uh, North Carolina. 
Um, I was editor for a monthly magazine for corporate insurance buyers. Um, at one time when I was between journalism jobs, I was an architectural assistant and a shopping mall Easter Bunny. Yes, I was. I was a writer for weekly newsletters uh, in, in Chelsea, in New York, the section of New York City, um, about home improvement, home building, housewares, and health and beauty care. I was a hardware salesman um, here in Florida. Um, I was also a haberdasher, which means I sold men's clothing. At the same time, I was selling uh, textiles, uh, which means um, bath towels, uh, bed sheets, pillowcases, that kind of stuff. And for a short time when I was there, I uh, sold maternity clothes and children's toys. And yes, that's true. I was at one time, I think it was for two or three weeks, I was a maternity clothing salesman. Um, I was an editor and page designer for the weekly supermarket tabloids, uh, specifically Star, Globe, National Examiner, and National Enquirer magazines. Um, back in the 70s, when I was younger, a teenager, I was a clerk in two insurance offices. Uh, one was my father's, one was a friend of his. Uh, I was a writer uh, for a wire service um, about uh, futures and options trading. I was writing 13 to 16 articles every day, yep, yeah, every day. Uh, specifically about the markets of uh, coffee, sugar, cocoa, cotton, uh, orange juice, and occasionally whole milk. Um, during that time, I also uh, covered uh, money supply meetings at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Uh, I was a scooper and store manager at an ice cream shop that my father had opened in Missouri when I was studying out, not that way. I was a writer editor for two magazines, uh, statistical analysis reports and a news website for manufacturers of components for retail store displays. It was a, a nonprofit association. Uh, when I first moved down to Florida, uh, I was a candy arranger and a cashier at a drugstore. Um, my favorite job was a uh, reporter, writer, editor, researcher for an international weekly magazine on the chemical industry. So I wrote about um, chemicals, you know, for, uh, for fertilizer, um, petrochemicals, pharmaceuticals, um, plastics. Uh, paint and coating materials. Um, when I first started, I was the oils, fats, and waxes editor. So I, I covered um, like cornuga wax and uh, and uh, castor oil for industrial lubrication. Um, yeah, and that that I would have to say that's my. Uh, favorite job I've ever had, and I say uh, about this job is that it made me look smarter than I actually was. <laughs> Just a joke. Uh, back in high school, I was a delicatessen stock boy. I stocked refrigerators with um, with soda. Um, my last job was uh, just quit uh, three weeks, uh, short-term freelance, where I was a web content editor, proofreader, and quality assurance for a cruise ship. Um, I rewrote uh, their internal uh, website and fixed hyperlinks and replaced photographs that weren't there and that kind of stuff. 
Uh, my first job, actually, was a founding editor of a weekly newspaper. Um, basically, my first day of work, I was given a camera, a notepad, a couple of pens, and a map, and I was told, come back in two weeks to have enough uh, stuff to fill 24 pages. Um, and that's what I did. <laughs> and that's what I continued to do as long as I had worked there. Um, I was also editor, a page designer in the news and sports departments of a daily newspaper here in Florida. Um, I was also uh, editor, page designer, and sometimes writer and photographer for five uh, weekly newspapers here in southeastern Florida. Um, I worked for that company twice. Um, I'd also worked for the Daily. Uh, the Daily in Florida twice, and I worked for um, a series of uh, a chain of newspapers in Long Island where I, where I worked there twice. Weird, I think. That's weird. They kind of took me in, threw me out, and took me back. Department. <laughs> uh, and also, I was uh, editor, uh, when I was with the supermarket ta market tabloids, I was editor of uh, two paperback biographies, one on Johnny Cash and one on Whitney Houston. And um, thanks to my fraternity brother, Mark, I uh, was able to edit, um, I was editor, uh, of his uh, paperback book on bankruptcy law. And that's it, I just wanted to you know, buzz through these very quickly, because uh, I don't want to take too much of your time. Um, but I really wanted to uh, let you know what what I've been doing, you know, in, in regard to my, uh, my professional life. And it's been a kick or a blast, you know, what can you say? Um, had a great time. Every place, every place I worked, I worked hard. Um, lots of long, hour, long hours, of piles of piles of work, uh, massive deadlines. Uh, but I loved it. You know, it's terrific. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.